Trace, your question's a good one. For a long time, you had a fairly strong grip and you fought a push, a push fade. So what is that? Well, that's a club that's coming relative to where you're aimed. The club's coming too much from the inside. So you're coming in here, you're catching the ball, and you're starting the ball way out to the right of where you're aimed. So the grip was wanting you to hook it if you did what you what everybody wanted you to do, which was turn the face over. So you learned how to come way from the inside, hold the face off like this. Okay, now the downside of that, you should leave your grip alone, but here's what you gotta learn to do. Two things. You've got to get the path to change so you're not coming so much from the inside. So the path's got to come more straight into the ball and over here. You also have to let the club go. So your hands have to work. So one of the best ways to learn that is take this thumb off the club. Because now when that thumb's off the club, this thumb tends on most people to push and lock this wrist and turn the face over this way. So take this thumb off the club and just let the club swing and let your wrist go like this. So if your wrist does that, boom. What does the face do? You see where my club face is? So when I hit, as I'm going through, the club face works that way, and then my left wrist goes this way. Now, if that happens, I can start to hit the ball as hard as I want to hit it, with as much speed as I want to put into it, and I'm not going to hit a pull hook. So that strong grip that you had really wasn't a strong grip. It was a strong grip if you're going to turn your forearms over like this. That's what got me. That's why I couldn't make it work. That's why I bought into the weaker grip, because I was, I was talked into that golf was a forearm rotation game. Well, you don't have to do that. But to create speed, you have to go ahead and let the club accelerate. So there has to be acceleration. So when you go with a stronger grip, you don't want to come from the inside and hold the face off to keep it from hooking. You want to let the club go but your hands have to work in a manner that when you do, the face doesn't turn down. So then what you can do is you can get your path coming straighter into the back of the ball, and when your hands let the club head pass, the face works totally differently. So now you can go at it as hard as you want. You can let the club go, let your hands work this way, and the face doesn't turn down, so you don't hit pull hooks, so you don't, you're not afraid to swing more around to the left. That's going to fix your issues. Where you started and what you did to keep it from going left, you don't have to do that anymore if your hands work different and you don't have to change your grip. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's going to help your game. Remember to comment on the videos, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to watch for new Malaska Golf videos coming your way.